person in a small town india who reads a full english book his confidence level is changed for life he says i read a book i have read a full english book they don't care whether it's chetan bhagat or whether it's kafka or whoever it is they have read a book and that's a milestone in their life they are you know they may pick up another book they may start reading the english newspaper and they may still not enjoy most of the english newspaper but they'll find 20% which they like that tipping point is very important where you start enjoying the products because then the self motivation starts rather than and for that reason even if you don't like chetan's books you have to tell them to read it because they will read and they will they will climb up the ladder and they will then go and they will discover you know one day it will become you know too easy for them and that's fine firstly i think easy books can also be enjoyed there's this culture in india that if your english is good then you should consume complex english only that has led to a lot of problems look at the way our government communicates nobody understands anything they they are saying very wonderful words but you just go to the railways website it's like what are they saying book a ticket press here they should just say that but they'll just say like availability and this and i don't know how they do it it's just complex government jargon uh, which is not good english according to me because it is not a language which even england uses anymore and it's totally outdated but we keep respecting it and teaching it and pushing it and tell children to make sentences with dexterous what is the point what is the point of making a sentence using a word make a sentence you want to say but this is how we were all brought up you know make a sentence with dexterous and then i don't know what dexterous means but you can say if it sounds like a good thing i used to always write i have always tried to be dexterous <laughs> and uh, it's it's not right it's not right it's fundamentally somebody needs to get up and say this is not the way it's not going to help him if he sits in an interview and he says he cannot you know that he is not able to speak english but he says but i will work dexterously <laughs> i mean what are you talking about man <laughs> you will not get a job and i'm telling you because i've worked in multinationals i'm not saying this because i'm this read my it's not i have seen what kind of i know all my i am batchmates are today pretty senior positions i i meet them at parties and i ask them what kind of candidates do you want and he says i just want a guy who can wear a suit and presents something nicely to me rest i will teach him because at the end of the day if the company makes soap how you will learn it you know how it's made and where it's sold but that confidence is not there and we have to accept what we are trying to teach to them not the complex literature not it's not if someone has a interest in it yes if you're an english literature student of course i'm not saying you should denounce it but i'm saying what india needs this is a basic staple diet that is needed right now people need to get drunk not like select wines you know just give them desi proper you know so thank you chetan on that note uh, we will, uh, I will go out one. and <laughs> get drunk okay. uh, not a problem and thank you also for uh, please do recommend me to your friends i wear a suit and okay speak decent english yeah <laughs> okay thank you very I much can thank i request uh, chris uh, on stage please there's a small memento for you the memento for chetan i'll just take this box <laughs> sorry okay. well, i thought i thought that uh, was really interesting indeed and i think uh, what you were saying about uh, local languages i think is uh, is very important indeed and um, outside of the work that we're doing in english language um i'm very keen that certainly in the south of india uh where i work that um all uh everything that we do we translate into local languages so that we um we make things accessible and i was absolutely delighted that uh, last week myself and a colleague were uh, <coughs> in conjunction with a local ngo we had um taken uh, films that we've 
we've commissioned as part of our uh, concern about climate change. And these are short films, about 15 minutes long, uh, that have been uh, put together by young Indian uh, filmmakers and focusing on climate change and uh, the things that are uh, happening here in India. And we've had uh, materials uh, made, translated into, um, into Tamil, and those, uh, those materials and the DVD of the films has now been uh, distributed to some 2,000 schools in, uh, in Tamil Nadu um, at both primary and, uh, and secondary level. And I'm very keen that we, uh, we continue to do that in the other three states uh, in, uh, in the south so that we ensure that what we do um, is accessible to all and that English does not become a barrier uh, so that uh, access is only to a few and not to, uh, and not to all. So you know, I think what you were saying uh, chimes very well with, uh, with our approach. Okay. You can have that drink now, Chetan. Yeah. Now, if, uh, if people will just be uh, patient, uh, we have a fabulous dance performance. We have the Sadia uh, Academy that will be uh, performing in front of us. It just takes a few minutes... To get, the stage, uh, to get the stage sorted. Sadia is synonymous with excellence, a contemporary performing arts academy. It has taken upon itself the task of being a bridge between tradition and modernity, working on numerous projects in the field of dance. So I hope that uh, you will enjoy the performance and that will be followed after by dinner and I think, if you, if you wish, whilst we're, we're just waiting, uh, drinks are still being served outside. So thank you very much.